Thanks, Bobby. Tonight, a News Channel 4 investigation involving spending within the governor's office. With our state facing a budget shortfall of more than a billion dollars, some are taking a close look at the cost of the governor's travels, particularly a vacation trip to Florida. News Channel 4's Allie Meyer takes a look at the numbers. We've had the plane since the mid 90s, and by we, I mean the taxpayers. This is the state's King Air, the spirit of Oklahoma. The governor uses it to travel to Washington occasionally or wherever else official business might take him. The governor also uses this aircraft for personal vacations, at least once to attend a wedding in Florida. Why would he be spending my tax dollars to go on his vacation? That's taxpayer money that should be used for, public, you know, not his personal use. It's crazy to me. Unless he's going to pay for a plane for me to go somewhere. News Channel 4 obtained the flight log from that flight to Florida. We confirmed last summer the governor and first lady, as well as their security detail, flew to Pensacola. The governor officiated at a wedding. The groom, an OHP trooper. The bride, the first lady's assistant. The cost to Oklahoma taxpayers, about $5,700. That's just for the flight, not including the salaries of the pilot and co-pilot. State Representative Randy Terrell. I think the taxpayers may very well have a legitimate question of whether or not discretion was abused in this particular instance. According to state law, the Department of Public Safety is required to provide security, transportation, and communications for the governor and his immediate family while in office. It is a 24 7 job. DPS does not discriminate between personal and official business. He's still the governor, and the security needs are still in place. Uh, if we were to not provide security when he wasn't uh, doing official state functions, then you have that vulnerability and that exposure. And if you had somebody that wanted to uh, either harm the governor personally or disrupt government by, heading, uh, by getting the head of a state, uh, then it would just be a matter of waiting until he wasn't working. Commissioner Kevin Ward knows a thing or two about gubernatorial security. He used to work on the security detail for our state's top official. Ward tells us cost is never a consideration. The only time the governor will fly commercial is when the destination is outside the continental U.S., where the King Air can't fly. They say security and convenience take priority. When it's a flight in which the King Air can make, uh, we just use the King Air so that for security purposes, we've got him in, a, in that controlled environment for, for safety and security reasons. Well, I don't know that there are any really uh, legitimate security concerns as it relates to the difference between the use of the King Air uh, or commercial aircraft for a simple flight to Florida, for example. We asked to speak with the governor or someone from his office. They refused an on-camera interview, but did say in a written statement that the trip was planned months in advance. And even though the rest of the country was being crippled by a recession last summer, they are quick to point out Oklahoma didn't face its first revenue shortfall until shortly after the governor returned. We did a cursory search online for commercial flights to Pensacola, Florida in late June. Four tickets average about 400 bucks apiece. That's at least a $4,000 savings from the cost of flying the King Air. And every dollar counts uh, when uh, the budget situation is that bad. Sources close to the Capitol tell us the governor has been flying the King Air less since the state budget reached crisis proportions. Allie Meyer, News Channel 4 HD. All right, Allie. Now, a couple of other notes here. Governor Henry is not the first one to use a state plane for personal travel. Previous Oklahoma governors have done so as well. But now some have suggested that the governor pay back the cost of personal flights on the King Air. The Department of Public Safety tells us there's no mechanism requiring that in state law.